Come on, Kyle, let's go. It's here. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. I think it's finally here, guys. Oh, yes. Yes, baby. It's here. So before we get into this vlog, I just want to say this video is sponsored by Nurture Life. They sent us this little sample package here. We're going to open it up, check it out. It's a bunch of foods for Kylan, but the food looks so good. Eric and I are going to have to eat it. I'm waiting for Kylan to get bored of the box. Erica's in his room right now, but babe, come on, let's open this. It's like Christmas. It's Christmas. Wow. Look at the instructions. More instructions, more about the company. Ooh, an ice pack. There's little ice packs. And uh, they sent like a bunch of random stuff. And the cool thing about Nurture Life is they actually don't use anything peanut. So like any babies that have like peanut allergies is perfect because Kylan is allergic to peanuts right now. Like any type of peanuts. Any. So we have oatmeal and protein bites and then we have chicken meatballs and pasta i love how like they're like ready to go like these are the pastas right here you just mix whatever with it egg bite sausage and sweet potato mac and cheese with peas and then we have mac and cheese with butternut squash we're gonna have kylan pick one of these so he can eat it for dinner because he hasn't eaten dinner yet oh yeah and it's, yeah, it's, it's perfect time. yeah and you don't have to cook see Look how convenient that was. Yeah. This came super fast. Okay, babe, so quick, what are the benefits of this? Okay, so for parents who have kids with picky eaters, or for parents who don't have enough time to like cook or deal with dishes or anything like that, this is perfect. Also for parents who have kids with allergies because you can customize your meal plan, it is perfect. For me, I sometimes don't have enough time to cook for Kylan, and he's kind of at that picky stage in life where he doesn't want to eat certain things, but these seem great for him to try. Yep, so we're gonna try it at dinner time, and you guys can also use code the Dodds Family to get 50% off your first order, guys. So go ahead and do that. The link will be at the top of the description. The time is 6.30, so we're just gonna go ahead and feed Kylan. We already got him in this chair. He's ready to go. Look at him. You hungry? Yep, look at him, impatient. Okay, so what are we feeding him? Tell okay, him. I am choosing the beef meatloaf, broccoli, and butternut squash. Mm. And I'm gonna microwave this for a little bit, I think like 20 seconds, just so it's a little warm for him. It smells good. That looks healthy, healthy. Kyla, eat your meatloaf. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. Kylan approved. Kylan approved. Wow. You like it? Yes, dad, dad. While Kylan finishes up his yummy dinner, once again, if you guys want to grab some of this, use the code, the Dodds family, to get 50%, yes, you heard me right, off your first order, guys. So go ahead and click the link at the very top of the description. And I also want to give a quick thank you to Nurture Life for allowing us to work with you guys. Hello, everyone. As you can see, I'm in an empty room. That is because I had to kick Patrick out. So he is no longer with me or with me and Kylan, hence why I'm in an empty room. But actually, Kylan is finally gonna have his own room. This used to be the office space for Patrick and his brother Matt. It needs to be filled with Pokemon, but now it's gonna be Kylan's bedroom. And it's completely empty, I will show you. Everything. It's an empty room. The closets aren't empty though. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm kind of gonna organize and decorate his first little room. I'm not gonna get it all done in one video. It's probably gonna be a couple days before like we actually fully finish it because I want to do some cute little decorations on the wall and like I want it to be very baby proof so he can just like roam around freely. Um, and do whatever he wants in his little room. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you can, leave a like and a comment and make sure you're subscribed and following us on our social media. We're kind of going for this room. We're kind of doing like a Montessori inspired type things because my mom used to be a Montessori teacher. I used to um, go to a Montessori school when I was very, very young, like toddler. So I wanted a little Montessori inspired um, 
and the actual like theme i guess or like the decoration and stuff is probably going to be marvel just because me and patrick are really really into marvel stuff um, and we already have some sort of marble like decorations and stuff like that. So we're going to be using that as well. Hopefully tonight will be his first night sleeping in the room. It's so, oh my god, I'm so like, ah! I'm going to show you the closets though because the closet still has some stuff in it. He has two closets. This one, I kind of already started moving some of his clothes in here. Like he has this like baskets of clothes. That stuff up there is still things that Patrick needs to move into our room. And then this is the new um, like toy organizer thing that we got from Ikea. It's called the Fleista bookshelf, I think. And then this used to be Kylan's like storage closet, if you will. And I have all of his like newborn stuff in here, his bassinet, his bouncies, his pool, and then his new toys that he got from Christmas that he hasn't even opened yet. He has like one, two, three, four. I think he has two other ones in the back. Patrick's things right now are actually in the guest bathroom. I'm just putting him in there for like storage purposes because I want to get this room done or at least like kind of completed so he can sleep in here tonight. But that's going to move into our room. So for now, I'm just gonna vacuum and kind of clean up the walls a little bit and like the baseboards because they're a little dusty and maybe put together this thing by myself. But I'm not really good at putting things together, so we'll see. So this is the point that we're at. Um, I couldn't find a hammer. Actually, the hammer is up somewhere that I cannot reach. So I had to use this thing that I found in the closet. And it's been working out. Okay, it is completed. Nice and secured. I just need to do the second part to like secure it to the wall before he can actually like play on it and stuff. And unfortunately, he woke up and I just had to bring him in here because there's nowhere else to put him. So he's just been playing with that, the box. There's not anything that really can harm him. Um, but I'm probably just going to finish this later just because I don't want him roaming around here freely. And I'll get back to you guys then. So Kylan's having fun right now playing with this little car set that he had. Um, I just got out his little mat that says Kylan John uh, D, which stands for Dodds, ABC. This is probably going to be his little, like, musical or, like, learning corner. I want to make a couple shelves up there with, like, some books. Um, his crib, his crib is most likely going to go against this wall just because I don't want it in the middle and then it be in the way of stuff. Um, his shelf is like this for now. I'm not allowing him to like touch it though because I want Patrick to secure it to the wall. And now I'm probably gonna put up his ball pit because now he can have it in here. He's having a good old time. It's nighttime now. It's bad lighting, I know. But it's nighttime now. We had a lot of inconveniences happen today. Um, there was a hole in our tire. Kyla had a doctor's appointment that we ended up missing because of our tire. But through all that, I've been working on the room. Kyla, come here. Come here, Bubba. No, don't go in the hallway. Come on. Come on. Over here. Over here. Go, 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 go. Okay. But to show you what we have done, this is just there because I don't know where else to put it. Um, but 
I installed this thingy. It still needs to be secured to the wall, which is why I'm like watching Kylan constantly. And his toys were on it, but he just started playing with them, so he took some of them off. I'm still trying to teach him how to use like one toy at a time. But we have his crib, which I'm changing the sheets of it right now. Um, we have the mat, and we have his little Paw Patrol desk, which I might spray paint. Quick little sidebar here. This isn't Kylan's official like review of his room. We still have some stuff done to it. This is Future Pat, so we filmed all that stuff like probably two weeks ago. We already decorated and did some stuff to his room, so it looks a lot cooler now. We had to wait for some. We had to wait for some stuff to come from Amazon, but there's stuff in there now. There's still a little bit more things like touch up I want to do to it because like the theme of the room is like Marvel. We will reveal his room coming here probably next week. No promises. It's just hard to push out videos right now just because like we have so much stuff like on our plate right now with me working and everything. But with that being said, let's get back to the video. One of his closets, I already started hanging up some of his shirts or like his dressier shirts. And then this used to be like a shoe uh, organizer that Patrick had. But I like cleaned it and took off the door thingies and put Kylan's clothes in it. Oh, and Kylan wants to go in there. No, 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 Bubba. I just ate some KFC like Louisiana hot tenders and I forgot to fully clean my hand. So I itched my eye. Now my eye is freaking burning. Bro, look, it is burning really, really bad right now. Oh. But Erica forgot to do an outro like she always does, babe. You suck at doing outros. I am gonna wrap it up for this vlog, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys can't smash that like button for my eye, because my eye is burning right now, I should really stop vlogging and go put some water on it. But love you guys to death. Don't forget to uh, comment down below and make sure you guys are subscribed to our channel. Erica didn't kick me out. It was just a joke. I live here still. Yeah. So, till the next video, guys. Peace.